From the moment Rachel was born, we knew it was going to be an adventure. She couldn't wait to get going. Growing up in a farm fostered a love of animals and horses were always a big part of Rachel's life. Before she was one, she'd been to a point-to-point -point meeting. It wasn't long before she was riding herself. Her first pony was called Bubbles. She was fantastic, but had no brakes. This never worried her. As the years passed, her love of riding grew. Although it took a while to find success on the track, she never gave up. She was competitive and would say, in whose world is second any good? Oh, it was brilliant. He, he just, he would so much left in him at the end. He just, he went really well and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, he's just your first winner. Yeah. Eventually, the winners started to come. It's Rachel Blackmore and Minella Indo, and Minella Indo has taken the Albert Bartlett. And Plutar was right on time with Rachel Blackmore and wins in great style. 2021 was an unforgettable year. They're off. They're racing then for the Unibet champion hurdle. Honeysuckle and Rachel Blackmore clear from Sharjah Epitop behind those. It's a beautiful straight 11 victories for Honeysuckle. She is the winner of the Unibet champion hurdle. With six winners at Cheltenham. And it's going to be number six for Rachel Blackmore at the meeting. And Colixios wins the JCB Triumph hurdle. My phone nearly melted that week. I was proud she gave us something to cheer about during the pandemic. Everyone needed a lift. Next, it was Aintree and the Grand National. All the stars aligned and it was dream time. 150 yards to go in the National. Manila times for J.P. McManus, Henry de Bromhead and more significantly Rachel Blackmore. History in the National, Manila times wins. I just can't believe we won, it's unbelievable. The first time I met her after Aintree, I arrived home to find the Grand National Trophy on the kitchen table, and Rachel in the yard with Charles, holding a reluctant mare who was having her feet trimmed. The fairy tale continued at Cheltenham 2022. It's Honeysuckle in full bloom again. Back to back wins of the Unibet champion hurdle. Honeysuckle again. Next up, the biggest prize of all, the Gold Cup. And Aplutard is storming up the hill. Six, seven legs clear in the hands of Rachel Blackmore. She won the champion hurdle on Tuesday, the Grand National last year. And now it's the Gold Cup. Aplutard, a runaway winner. I had to pinch myself after that one. Despite the successes, Rachel remains true to herself. It's no good having success if you aren't a decent human being. All she ever wanted was to ride horses. And if she inspires others, that's a major bonus. It can be a tough job at times, but Rachel must be made of strong stuff. In her words, you can win one minute and be on the ground in the next. But win or lose, we're delighted and grateful for all that she's achieved so far and excited for all that is yet to come.